Welcome back. And in this video, we're going to take a look at the home tab up here at the top. So these are the frequently used tools in Roblox Studio. So we've got select, we've got move, we've got scale, we've got rotate. We've got some modes over here. We've got the terrain editor, we've got the toolbox, the parts, and we've got the play button, which is what we'll use to play test our game. And next up, we've got the model tab over here. And so again, you'll notice that some of the tools are actually duplicated between home. Home again has the most frequently used tools. So in model, we've got select, move, scale, rotate, and transform. And over here, you can also set the degrees. Also by default, you can change the default studs. How much distance you want to go. So again, in this particular game, these are the stud units over here, which are very useful when you're building. All right, next up, we've got test. Test is usually where you can set some options when you're play testing. So we've got play. We've also got play here, which is a specific location. And then we can also run a particular script, just that script there. All right, we can also set up a local server if we wanted, if we wanted to play test internally. And then over here with device, you can actually make it look like different devices that Roblox works on. So for example, this is the mobile emulator. This is how it would look on a phone, etc. So you've got like different ones there. You've got like iPhone, you've got iPad, you've got big a little bit of a different uh, resolution there. If you notice, you've got average laptop. This is one that's running at 1080p, which is a pretty high resolution there, etc. So these are really great options to test out what your game might look like because the really nice thing about Roblox and Roblox Studio is that it runs on all sorts of different platforms. So your players can be potentially accessing it on a phone, PC, etc. All right, so next up here, we've got view. And so here we've got some different options. And these are kind of like debugging tools, which are very useful. Now, the person playing your game won't be able to see these, but they're really great for doing things like testing, when you're coding things. So we're going to go ahead and check off output, which is down here, happens to be enabled already. And then we're also going to click on command bar. Okay, so we've got those two over there. So if you don't, if you didn't already have output and command bar enabled over here and over here, and there's a slight indentation, just make sure that they are indented there. Now we're going to do our first Roblox Command, so let's give that a try here. So again, down here in the command bar, I'm just gonna print out print, hello world. And then I'm gonna press enter. And notice down here, this is the output. So we've got hello world down here. So that's our first Roblox Studio statement. And I'll just show you one more, just so that we know what language we're working with here. You can actually go ahead and click on print, and then we're going to issue this command over here. Notice there's an auto completion. This is a little bit obscure, but I thought it would be instructional nonetheless. If you type in print, open parenthesis, underscore version, and press enter, you'll notice that the programming language that we're using is a language called Lua U. All right. I hope this video helps, and I'll see you in the next one.